So in this video here, I'm going to show you how I turn these logs into slabs like this. With a saw and attachment set up like this. Stick around, I'll show you how I did it. So I start off by rolling the logs onto this uh, setup with a couple of bucked up pieces of wood. Put a couple of notches in them so the log would stay in place. Then I just use my chainsaw to clean up the top of the log to make it somewhat flat. So I could put this 2x6 uh, pressure treated board on top and keep it flat. Then I took these these V-shaped bars that come with the mini mill. And what they do is, you'll see here in this video, you'll see I'm attaching it to the very edge, um, just about a, maybe a quarter of an inch from the edge of that 2x6. And this is used for the attachment to right along. You'll also see in the video where I'm securing the attachment to the saw's bar by securing those two bolts. And that just keeps the attachment secure to the saw and keeps everything square. Here the reason I started the saw was just to make sure the chain was spinning through the bar, even after I tighten the attachment onto it. I'm basically just using a level here to make sure that both sides, or uh, both ends of the 2x6 are uh, about the same. Making sure that the board's not warped. So here I set up and I start to cut and you can see where I take the saw and I put the uh, glue from the attachment onto that um, piece of metal that screws to that 2x6. Like I said, it keeps that saw moving in a straight line, which in turn keeps the bar and chain straight, creating a straight cut across the log. That's essentially how this setup works. Uh, basically, like you have jigs for other tools you use, this is basically just a jig for a chainsaw. So here I put up a, a timer so you can see how long this cut takes, because I do have it sped up, uh, so you don't have to sit here and watch me cut through this box for five minutes. Not bad for the first cut. I'd be curious to hear your suggestions or comments on my setup if this is the very first time I set it up. I do have a slightly underpowered saw, I would think, for anything, probably for any hardwood. Um, I'm cutting pine here, so this is probably the only stuff I'm gonna cut with this. I have my MS660, but I gotta get a ripping chain for that so I can cut into some of this hardwood. For now, I'm gonna cut and slab up some pines got myself my 2x6 board. I just had a piece of scrap from a deck I took down and that worked really well securing the rail to that. Um, I just followed the instructions that came with it. It's the Grandberg 555 mini mill. Super easy to set up. Once it's set up and you're ready to go, that was just really easy to get through. Leaned on it just a little bit and gauged my cut based on the sound of the saw. So if it sounded like it was working too hard, backed off just a little bit. And if it sounded like it was uh, ramping up kind of high, I would lay into it a little bit harder. So here I'm basically just taking the board and setting up for my next cut. I take a, a square and run it off the top, run it down the side flat, um, just bring it over to the board to see about how thick the next piece is going to be. So what I'm doing here is bringing the square up and over 
and making sure that the board on top is square to the side, the flat side of the log that I now have to reference from. This way I know my bar is going to be about as square as it can be across that log that it's cutting. With this chainsaw mill it's not going to be perfect there is probably a variation from one side of the board to the other maybe even by as much as a, an eighth of an inch so they're not perfect but in the end it's easy enough to flatten them so here i get the timer running again and we're going to see how long this cut takes this cut is going to be thicker and deeper than the last cut because i'm further into the log as well also you have to take into consideration the chain is going to dull as you're cutting each time. Uh, I find I'm getting about six or eight cuts out of it um, before I start to really notice a considerable difference. So here as I go along um, looking at the knots you can see and you can feel as you're going along you hit a knot that the cut is a little bit harder so usually I'll ease up a little bit to keep from bogging the saw down and making the cut easier and uh, being easier on the chain that way as well and not wearing it out as quickly. Not a bad looking board for my very first chainsaw mill board. I'm pretty excited to be able to do this myself. You can see this cut took about the same amount of time as the last one. I'm going to take a quick break and I'll uh, probably come back and do a little bit more. Probably get through this log. May, may record some more of these uh, another time when I get into some of these bigger logs. Right now I'm just running a 18 inch chain. My, my 9i660 has um, a 25 inch bar on it and I'll be able to cut through some harder wood. So I'll be able to get into some of these, some of the beech and oak and maple that I got here. That's pretty cool though. I'm pretty pumped to be able to know that I can do this. This is, this is excellent. Steel MS291. Did a surprisingly good job for smaller saws. Well, that's it for today. I'm gonna pick up tomorrow morning, but uh, that'll be it for this video. I appreciate you watching. So, if you like this video, please leave a comment below. Tell me what you liked about it. Please hit that like button if you did like it. If you didn't, you can hit the dislike button. Tell me down below what you didn't like about it. If you did like this video and you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button. You can also check out some of these other videos that I have available. I think you might find something there you like. I'll see you on the next one.